Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to make block number 14 using on shape. So first off, let's take a look at the shape and determine the overall dimensions. Let's first of all count how long the shape is in the front. So this circular portion on the left side of the shape will account for one, two, three, four blocks. And as previously stated, each block on this shape is one quarter of an inch. So that is one inch right there. And if I go here and I start to count the remainder of the shape, I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. On the scale that each square equals a quarter of an inch, 12 squares would be three inches in length. And we can clearly see that if we count across here, we have one, two, three, four squares across. That would be 12 inches by one inch and the thickness of this lower portion here is two squares, which would equal half of an inch. So with that said, let's go over to on shape. Okay, so now that I'm here on my workspace, I am going to be starting a new sketch in the top view of the shape. As you can see, the top view uh, sketch plane shows up. I'm gonna look down on it on the top view and as we just stated, I'm gonna make a rectangle to the overall dimensions of 12 squares, which was three inches by one inch or four squares. Now I'm gonna look at this in isometric and I'm gonna extrude that object up a distance of 0.5 inches, okay? I'm gonna click on the green check mark. So the first thing I want to do is I want to round these edges off the way that they are in the photo here. And if we look at this, the center point of the circle is two squares away from the outside edges. That would indicate a half inch radius here. So when I make a fillet to make these corners round, I'm going to make sure that the radius on the fillet is half of an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my fillet tool, which is right here. See, it says fillet. Click on that, make sure this radius reads half of an inch. And then I can go over and zoom in and actually click on these edges when they light up in, in yellow. Click on the edge, go to the next one. And you can see that it's starting to take shape. So I go to the third one. And finally, I can swing around and do the fourth one here. Okay, so now I can click the green check mark and go back to my isometric view and you can see that I, I now have completed the bottom portion of shape number 14. Okay, now let's go take a look at the shape once more. And on this shape, you can see that there is a circle on the left side that will extend up a distance of one, two, three, four more blocks which is equal to one inch. And the inside circle looks like it's a half inch diameter and the outside one looks like it's a one inch diameter. So let's go to our workspace. I'm going to start a new sketch on this top surface right here. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom in. As you can see, this line right here indicates the end of this arc. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my circle tool and this program is smarter than you think in the fact that if you hover over the center point of that arc right there, you see a little square lights up. If I hover there for more than two seconds, and then I go to my next point that I would like to reference, and I hover there for two seconds, when I bring this over, it will show me right there where that square shows up, where the center of that circle will be. So if I wanna make the first one, uh, all the way to the outside edge, that's the first one. It's a one inch diameter circle. And I wanna make a second circle from here, which is gonna be 0.5 inches. Okay, so there's my two circles. So now, if I click the green check mark, I can select this circle here, okay, and extrude it at a distance of one inch or four blocks, just like we counted on the drawing. I'm gonna click the green check mark, and there's my shape, okay? Now the next thing is the slot that goes through here, okay? 
uh, I'm going to start a new sketch right on this surface here. Sketch, choose this surface, click. Now I want to go and look at my drawing again to say this circle here, there's going to be two circles, one here, and that's my center mark right there, and a second circle right here, and that's my center mark right there in the middle. The center to center of the circles are one, two, three, four squares apart, or one inch, okay? And the diameters of those circles are half inch, okay? One, two, three, four squares, that's correct, one inch. So now if I go back here, I'm gonna choose my circle tool, and if I hover again on this point, and on the center of that arc, it will find itself right there. So I can start to make a circle at 0.5 inches. Okay, there's my first one. Now, as we stated, the center to center is one inch apart. So I'm gonna find that center to center by using a line. And I'm gonna take the line from the center point of this circle, and I'm going to extend it out, just like so, at a distance of one inch, okay? So that last, that last um, end point here is gonna be the center of my second circle. So now that I'm on my circle tool, I'm gonna to start here and make another circle at 0.5 inches in diameter, okay? The next thing I wanna do is grab my line tool and create two lines tangent to this circle. The first one is gonna be here, and it's gonna go until it's tangent here. The second one is going to start here and connect to the tangent of the circle here, okay? Now there's a little tool in your toolbar called the trim tool. Looks like a pair of scissors. It allows you to snip away portions of your sketch that you no longer need. And what I'm gonna skip, uh, try to trim off here is the inside portions of these circles. One, two, three, and four. And also the line that I used to measure the center to center. So now I have this open slot area and I'm going to click the green check mark, move over to that slot and select it. It highlights in, in uh, the orangish color here. I'm now gonna go to the extrude tool and I want to extrude this, but I want to extrude it for 0.5 inches, but I don't wanna add, I want to remove the extrusion. Click the green check mark and what you have here is a completed shape 14. Okay, good luck on that. Follow my lead and I'll see you on the next one.